Please remain on the line for our next available operator. Thank you for your patience. Please remain on the line for our next available operator. Thank you for your patience. Wow. Checking in. This is NeuroPsych 1. Hello, Mr. Chaos Chaos. Matthew, what do you guys think of the new studio? Mm -hmm. Oh my. Oh my God. What? Is that? What? Is that? What? <gasps> Who do I see? Ooh, who is it? It's River Girl. Oh, my goodness. It's River Girl. Hi. We've missed you so. Oh, missed you too. Missed everybody. I especially miss your big blocky head. And that big, big weirdo smile. And those big, big slime ball green eyes. And your tacos. I like the mine cart you picked me up in on our first date. And all your crazy zany ideas. Oh, Nero, you big honkin' hunky funky monkey minecrafter! You're so epic. You're so dreamy. I love you! Anyways, we've got our camera system set up here and our green screen, so we can go green screen. And probably in post-editing is when I'll come here and I'll give the illusion that we're stranded on a desert island somewhere. No, no, no. It's like a post-apocalyptic zombie infestation and we're all, yeah, we're screaming. <laughs> Backstage, of course, this is the chill room where everybody goes to relax and hang out before they get interviewed. You'll see all kinds of uh, famous people back here. Like my mom might come over and she, you know, she'll chill on the couch. Usually get on me about cleaning my room and tells me how I should call more often and I should, I should. But anyways, mom's a cool guest. Is that, uh, oh, tacos, potato. Boy, I'm easily distracted by them tacos. Just checking out your name, T-S-Y. So I'm gonna assume the T is silent. Sai Ak Ganov. I don't know. Jaguar Films wants to know if we could incorporate chicken nuggets and tacos and create a nugget taco, um, pronounced floor. That way we can become rulers of the world through the power of nug tacos. I don't know, Cal, what do you think? Taco nugs? That sounds OP to me, man. I don't know. I don't know if the world can handle that much, uh, that much amaze. Guys, so many improvements to the server. It's just redonkulous. When we first started TEI, there was a, uh, a plugin that we wanted. We wanted to have this game mode. And many people probably noticed the fact that we had a, uh, a lobby even for it, uh, for sheep racing. <laughs> We had issues with uh, with plugin development, and, and we never really had time to make it happen. So, well, Sergeant Casey has taken it upon himself to take on the task of completing a plugin called TEI Racing for our two-year anniversary. It is in beta at the moment. Well, other servers got you know, well, the other servers have plugins for racing, and what's the big deal, right? I mean. Everybody's got Hunger Games, everybody's got, you know, their version of whatever. Well, this is our version of it. It's got a TEI twist. The last racing game I played, I think, was on Hypixel. And that was cool. I mean, it was amazing. But we're not Hypixel. I don't think we can compete with those guys. They got resources that are like, woo-woo. And it's just not us. But we know fun. Fun is free. So it's got our own little twist on it. We're going to go into Skywars. Because we need to go check out what's been going on there in Skywars. I'm going into game mode three, so you might not see me. And I'm going to spin the roulette wheel of a Zetipiness. Ooh, dino map. Nice. Yeah, man, so I like that. That's cool. We got some sort of epic battle going on in the center here. Oh, no. What I'm seeing is the name tags of about three billion little chicken nuggets. Hey, chicken nuggets, just like River Girl. Nice. Whoa, <laughs> that escalated quickly. Hey, what the, was that? Did I just see Leisure Gaming? Yeah, it was. Ah, he's still in the lobby. What's up, Jason? How you doing, buddy? You guys know Jason Leisure from YouTube with this epic build. Well, many epic builds. It's funny to say it's one epic build. It's not. Jason, let's be honest. There's like thousands of builds inside one map. 
you know, so Notchland is huge. Huge, huge, huge. District Gecko, good job. Hey, what are we playing on today? Look at this. Oh my goodness, I love it. Do you see, did you see the Elytra? Elytra, Elytra. That adds such a completely new element to this game. The ability in Sky Wars to be able to fly around from island to island if it's positioned correctly is just too much fun. And the Doctor Who theme, of course. Love the Doctor Who theme map. So how many of you guys know what these are? <laughs> I'm surprised at the, at the amount of people that, that actually don't know what these are. And it just makes me feel old, so let's not talk about it for too long. But those are little disk drives that you used to be able to put into your computer. Before USB, before CD, ROMs, and all that fun stuff, we had little disk drives. And these little disk drives, you'd put them in your computer, and when something saved... Whoa, nice dive there. When somebody would save, it would sound like a little army of cavemen was in there etching into a wall of some sort. Now, you know, there's a specific name for these spiders and I forgot what they were. But I've seen the like, little interesting looking garden spiders. Beautiful job, beautiful job with that. Download? No, oh, yeah, again. It's a Disney cartoon, guys. Who was it? It's the Never Beast. Of course, duh. Never be. Am I ashamed to say it? No, of course I'm not ashamed to say it. This is a really cool, like, you know, kind of cool cartoon. But check out the artwork there, huh? To me, that's art. That's great. And what's funny is you'd say, well, you know, just take it and rotate it and, you know. No, the face is different on both sides. Here's got his tongue hanging out. And over here, no tongue. See? Details, details, details. Oh. Cal, Cal. Uh oh, Car she uh, Carmel had no idea. Oh, good use, good use of uh, of breaking that the carpet. That's one way to take somebody out. Well done. Cause yeah, that's actually this uh, this carpet is just held up with a fast command, and so as soon as you update a block, it updates all of the other carpets and breaks them off. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Can anybody guess the theme here? See, I don't know. Can you guys or am I like the only one who knows what these are? Seriously. Shopkins, guys. Shopkins. I got these Shopkins on fleek. Simon, who's one of our good friends, is on the build team and has helped us on all kinds of roller coaster rides uh, on the Xbox. Has put this thing together. Absolutely brilliant. Little Skywars map. That's a different take on it, right? You got your minecarts all over the place and it's huge it's huge just a great great twist of the game punk unicorn what a punk oh no pink unicorn <laughs> what a punk unicorn ain't no punk pink unicorn makes so much more sense than punk unicorn although now i kind of want to see a punk unicorn nico nico me and cows on this twisted map here oh here we go cal wastes no time getting wasted valiant effort sir valiant effort what the woo good dive no no lucky block looks like he got something unlucky that happens sometimes didn't say it was all good luck man this is a map that i made just for funsies because why not? Slime blocks came out and I was like, oh, that's cool. You can do like a really cool jump thing. But what if I encase them in slime blocks? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. What if I make it so there's like 16 people in here? Yeah. And what if I make it so that there's a command block up top with the clock? It's keeping everybody boosted for jump. Huh? Simple, simple, but I think I like it, eh? If you guys haven't had a chance to play with it, this is like a little personal experiment of mine. <laughs> Just random maps that we come up with every once in a while. Because why take it so seriously, you know? Let's mix it up a little bit. It's cool that we got all these effects. We can do slime blocks and... I'll give you another example. I was thinking about bringing housing onto TEI. Like, Hypixel does housing, you know? Except it'd be a little more, like, subpar housing. You don't get, like, terrain and land, but you may get, like, a dirt shack. And uh, maybe, like, a 5x5 five five area to build in. Uh, Maybe we can have it in the hub, like on a hill, so that 
it looks like an overdeveloped hill, you know, and we'll have slums and yeah, I don't know. The more I talk about it, the less appealing it is, but <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. So this is another cool map, right? Introducing that whole like slippery element here. Us here, we have a really, really, really good build team. I mean, these guys are very, very, very talented. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is to make sure that they get proper credit for their builds because I mean, if you're gonna shine, this is a great platform to show off, you know, your your, your style. But show off the fun. They they all they all like to build, it, but make it fun. I mean, you can only have so many like medieval Sky Wars maps. What does a medieval Sky Wars map look like? Medieval. Okay, got it. And I'm not knocking the style. I'm just saying it's pretty reliable that you're gonna see, you know medieval style building with medieval style medieval and a layer of medieval on top of it great that's cool that's your <laughs> who does not love a good i mean this food is terrible for you and by the way we don't endorse mcdonald's no one's getting paid for this or am i wink wink mcdonald's talking to you dinosaurs with lasers okay you know what i will give you a peek I will give you a peek. We're gonna do an exclusive trek onto the build server. Let's do this quick sneak peek to the build server. To the build server! Yay! So when I pop into the build server, this is our spawn area, which appears to be taken over by sign. How dare you? <gasps> I'll remember that. Rezo, one of our builders, who built this really cool looking dinosaur, this T-Rex, and um, I liked it. So I thought, you know what? It's already being used as part of a different map, but I'm gonna take it and use it for something else because I wanna put lasers on it. So I slapped some lasers on it and then I thought, you know what would be cool? If he was fighting a banana. So now he's fighting a banana. Yeah, just go with it. Now is this is still a work in progress. Obviously we're still working on this, but we got, uh, you know, little things like, uh, here's our crew of uh, UFOs that will be abducting some cows and thanks to Dragnose for helping me come up with some command block magic to make that happen. So that's fun. There's our cool logo up there. This is where you'll start off. You'll start off with the elytras so that all your characters will fly down onto parts of the map. Anyways, all kinds of stuff. I'm not gonna show you everything until the map comes out. No spoilers. We would drive in. And this happened just because I think uh, Bobcat Gaming or Bob the Builder as he's known now uh, did a, a challenge over Twitter, said something about like, let's each build a drive-in and then he got distracted, of course, didn't get back to the project, but I finished mine. And this is what we came up with. There's a truck, you know, doing the thing at a drive through that a truck would do, which is flying through it at the audience. Got a fine assortment of cars. There's the OG Neuromobile with uh, standardized forward and backwards transmission. Paid extra for that. Robin in here. So I've been asking the build team to build all kinds of little things for me in here. You know, so the school, for example. Hey, there you are. Built by Mr. Robin himself. CJ may have helped out. I don't know. I wasn't here for the whole thing. But all kinds of junk here, guys. This is going to be like a pretty ridiculous map. Um, ridiculous as in I'm just doing it like my style. Like stuff that I think would be cool to put in a map. Not because it makes sense at all. Uh, but because, you know, that's kind of our style here at TI. I don't think we should be taking things so uber seriously. Like, been a long road um, a lot of people have been on staff off staff and my thing has always been that I don't care if you're with us for only a month or a week or whatever uh, we respect everybody on staff and I hopefully my goal is to have you guys if on staff leave as better people if there's anything that I can offer you guys this in like building tips or uh, you know how we do things behind the scenes uh, then I hope that the people that do come in and are really talented leave just a little bit better so if they do go to a different server great you know you will people will people will come and people will go uh, and you're everybody who comes to TI is welcome to come and go we just hope that it is a positive experience so that when people do leave they can look back and say hey that was cool you know uh, not a lot of ego here. A lot of our builders, actually, and a lot of our staff. God bless them. The mod staff. You guys are so patient uh, with everything that you guys deal with. 
AJ has been with us since the beginning, who's not here, Tube, Trust, Sergeant K's, there's just no way I can name everybody. Mitch has been on, I mean, it all extends from the TI family coming from the Pixelmon server as well, Big Mama, but people have stuck with us. Here we are, two years later, ready for another one. And it's gonna be awesome because one thing that we have learned at, is that it's about fun. If you don't mind, I'm gonna go and derp it up just a knot or two maybe even three but if you hang with us that's uh that's what you can plan on it's more fun i love you guys you guys who have been with us forever players this place is not a community without you and so please hit us up on the forums trust and k's are busting their booties 24 7 to make it a smooth experience for everybody the mods are always online making sure that everybody's cool fine to get competitive you know it's all good to be competitive but you got to respect each other because that's important in real life too the last thing I want to say is tacos, because heck, it's taco time. Speaking of which, it's time for me to go grab some grub. Thanks guys for joining in. We will see you guys soon. How about them apples? Bye guys. <laughs>